Akaden against Copenhagen. It's going to be an interesting game. Um, let's see, Lorena, are you with me? Yeah, with you. Just here we go. Writing down. Akaren in blue, Copenhagen in white. And the one girl from Copenhagen com continue to stress out the goalie of the Danish women. So Copenhagen uh, uh, is in the defense. Akaden already takes position around the goal call from the referee that was pushing without um, pushing without Quite ball. The one of the current player was under the defender, pushing out without ball. Free throw against Akaden. Let's see. So we're still in the in the half of Karen and at the basket of uh, Copenhagen and the Karen is attacking from the open side and they're pushing really hard on the goalkeeper and it's a it's a it's astonishing the basket is not in the goal but there was this call from the referee pushing without ball blue free throw free throw against Copenhagen uh, Akaren tries heavily to uh, disturb the, the, the defense of uh, Copenhagen. They go really into the defense. Ten and here is the score. goal. Ten it came from the close under side. Under the two minutes. Goal, blue team, number 14. Number, number 14, goal. One four, goal. Blue One team. four from the Norwegian. Fourteen is Cecilia Skeri. So back in the game. So So let's see. And again, a Karen at the Copenhagen basket on the open side, and uh, it seems like uh, we will not see much from the referee no it was a goal yeah it was a goal, yeah, no, no, goal. goal uh, didn't team, see it inside seven. i guess we will not see number much seven, of the uh, current team. basket goal. in this game seven is very oh very very did play for the, the berlin uh, girls for uh, yeah. one season i think yes yes yes, yes. She very good play player champions cup with us at that time against she Norway. has very good energy and she's uh, yeah. uh she's I, I really nice to have her how sad around. she was that she had to play against <laughs> her own country with us in the champions cup this is like i don't know maybe seven years ago or so yeah and uh here uh copenhagen tries to break free in their own half against uh the akaren for checking and they even managed, here we go, we are going to the to the Norwegian basket, but they didn't touch it, it's, uh, here we go, uh, uh, attack from above, ball passing down, I wouldn't have thought, I wouldn't have thought uh, Copenhagen able to break through and uh, challenge the basket. Uh, they didn't put a current under stress, but nevertheless, we saw, uh, don't underestimate Copenhagen here in this game. And here the current player tried to throw the ball over the head of the defender. Um, uh, like we heard, the defender, uh, they tried to put all the, the people they have in front, so they have only one f uh, defender or a goalkeeper in front Two of the basket. For hitting the head. Two Whoa. minutes for hitting the head. Blue for number home. 14, two minutes. Wow, Akaren gets a time penalty. Number 14, two minutes. Number 14 in Akaren is Cecile. The, the, the first White one throw. that the score. She has to go outside two minutes for hitting on the head, apparently. Kicking, kicking the head. Ah, kicking, oh, that's, okay. that's what I understood. That uh, will not change much for Copenhagen, but it is a chance. Um, probably the, the best chance they have in this uh, first half. Yeah. Five minutes left. They have two minutes now, but Akaren is in ball possession. And uh, when Akaren is in the attack, Copenhagen will not have a chance to use uh, the the one less player in their Akaren team to put pressure on the basket of the Norwegian girls. 
So here we go. Copenhagen is in ball possession, but uh, the one Copenhagen player doesn't succeed to break through, and we're still in, uh, in the Danish half of the of the pool, and they cannot break free. So the the, the two minutes are counting down, and uh, it doesn't help. It doesn't change much in this game here for Copenhagen. No, I don't think it's really. And it doesn't change much no. uh, for Akaden. Uh, you don't I mean even see a disruption. They have to be a bit careful, but look, they know they're with five, so they are clever. They will play uh, always with ball control. They won't risk much. If the opportunity raises, they will attack, but they mainly will concentrate and having the control of the ball until the two minutes are over. And that's it. Because even though they're the stronger team, even though maybe the, um, Denmark don't have a lot of a chance still with five players this is the only you know that could be an opening for for Denmark and you see they're just playing in the corner and if the Den Danish girls don't push them and push it to f enforce the pass and, and to commit a mistake the uh, Norwegians are going to stay in the corner moving the ball until the two minutes are over yeah the time will counting down and uh, since a current will have some uh, heavy games ahead they don't have to um, uh, exhaust themselves but when they have the chance like right now they're playing there was a pass into the open holding without ball holding. that is Bob Robinson uh, on our side of Blue the pool free throw, holding. Free, free throw against Copenhagen three minutes 26 left in this first half here you're watching the Champions Cup uh, 2017 in Berlin it's the biggest uh, tournament in on the water rugby and we have uh, 14 nations 14 men teams and nine uh, women teams and we will play 59 56 games all together in these three days that's a lot of underwater rugby 23 teams 14 nations and again a car is attacking the Copenhagen basket and positioning players positioning themselves on all sides um, and now they're full uh, again. I mean, I think the two minutes are over already. Yeah. So um, let's see. Oh, that, was that basket yeah, was empty. I, I mean the that was close. That the Call from the referee. Holding off the basket. Free throw. Free throw against Copenhagen. The referees have to be more and more careful and watch more and more closely the, the further we go in this tournament because the teams are g um, in, in this high level, they know how to play and how now they get an advantage by uh, doing things they're not allowed to. So one minute 56 left in this first half and uh, Akaran is uh, dominating this game there is no doubt and it will be uh, at least a 2-0 score yes, I in mean this first half it doesn't look i mean the, the tactic of the danish girls of having a bit more of board checking it's not as effective against no. a karen as it has been it isn't, yeah. with the other team that it doesn't attacking the head blue free throw here here mm -hmm. New field of kick in the head here. again. How no, uh, kick attack to the head. Attack to the head, okay. So, new free throw for the uh, Karen team. And the Danish are doing a, a good job defending, but uh, Akaren is so constant and so disciplined in their attack. I mean, it's the same tactic they use as well at the Norwegian national team in um, the European Championship. Um, they are very, very disciplined White free and throw. They, they move the ball and they're always there. They Holding. White free throw. Through the ball and pass it always to forward. Blue team, two moving. meters. Blue team. All right, so let's see where in the half of Danish 
of, uh, of the um, Norwegian team, the Danish are attacking and they're coming on from the close side, they're on the goalie, they're putting some pressure but they are being tackled away and the Norwegian girl got the ball back, they tried to pass, they lost it and now the Danish are back into attack but the time is over from the first uh, half it's a pity because they were yep. just starting to attempt to attack they had a good run there and uh, they really got um, they uh, uh, were smelling blood <laughs> and we really go in but uh, that's a break and well let's see what uh, happens in the second half yeah but I think, I mean, Karen is dominating and uh, what are you looking for? Oh. Smile. Hello world, hello, hello. Emma Water Rugby world. We, we, you need some sugar probably, we are decreasing a little bit the... Yeah, we're getting in this, in this crazy hazy uh, moment when you uh, did talk too much, when you... Um, have too much information on the head and watch a game and you don't know in which game you are. Um, 56 games. <coughs> we are Akaren versus Copenhagen Denmark women in the quarter of finals. Really? Yeah. Thank you, well. Lorena. Without what you. Yeah, what would you do without me? Exactly, explain. I would uh, be in the woods, chopping wood and hunting with a long beard and no one to talk to. <laughs> So please check out our uh, Facebook site, Facebook slash UWR Champions Cup. Um, our uh, multimedia team put a lot of pictures from uh, the pool area uh, upload. And we have uh, Eva and Charlotte around the pool with the camera and the Instagram uh, account. And they're uploading pictures constantly from the pool area, so you can check them. We know there's a lot we can improve um, here in the Champions Cup. We are always interested. And in constructive critics. Yeah, constructive critics. We know we are not perfect. Uh, not the comments, not the... Oh, the live stream is perfect. Thank you, Winner. But um, uh, everything around what you see from the outside and the, the players, please come back to us with uh, constructive ideas. Um, you How know to improve things. Yeah, we, and we can, we can always discuss uh, what is happening and uh, see what we want to change, can change. Um, the sad things, mostly people tend uh, only to open uh, uh, or to write when they have something critic to say and when they blame us for something. Please also write us when you like something. Enforce us to keep on doing exactly. what we're doing what or we're tell right. us what you would prefer, what we could change. Um, but uh, we... It was not a lot, but we got some critics that was not really nice from the well last Champions ready. Cup. And everybody's doing the, what we're doing here for free. And uh, we do the best we can. We do the best we can we for you. Okay, yes. we're back in the game. Akaren against Copenhagen. Akaren in blue and Copenhagen in white. And Akaren is, uh, it, it's like you said, Lorena, they, are, they start and they, they keep the level up until they stop. But every game, yeah. every game, they have a constant and a, and a performance they have and the amazement from the Norwegian women. It's what you we cannot say, oh, the Norwegians had a bad day. And here we no, have the attack again from uh, the open side on the Copenhagen basket and the, the, the attacking player is tackled away to the surface and we have a surface cluster Ball is falling down in the heads of Copenhagen. There's still an offense on the close side of the pool in the corner. So let's see. And uh, we? they're waiting. They're uh, here. We go. They try to go down. Wow, that was a <laughs> nice move from uh, one of the defenders. She just whooshed, whooshed the way the w the ball uh, <laughs> without even looking. I don't know if she had even realized she intercepted the pass. Uh, it's really, uh, they, they, their game has a flow. I mean, 
they always there where they're supposed no, to be. Yes, they're always yes. there where they're supposed to be. I mean, Go. their nice. execution is uh, almost flawless. Go, blue I mean number seven. It's number a seven. great number defense seven, we blue have blue here blue. from Copenhagen, but the attacks from Akaren are... Bedit. Second goal of Bedit. So Hey, thank you for thank the positive you. feedback uh, in the live stream. Thank you, Natali. Uh, thank you, Selina. Thank you very much. Uh, it pushes us even further. Counter attack of Akaren, and the goalkeeper is up. And, and the one. ball is inside. I mean, Goal. this is where they're famous for this girl. This <laughs> counter attack. Goal, number very two. fast. They number two goal. All the future timeout from the Danish team there. Screaming for it. Um, Langen and Orcas will have to watch for this counter attack. We know how they, I mean, we, meaning from the German uh, team, know how uh, strong they are in getting the ball and uh, doing a counter attack um, and, and scoring almost an empty basket. So, um, this is something the Germans and the Colombians will have to really watch out. You know what, Karen reminds me of um, Molde two, three years ago when they went into the water. It was like you hear the sound of and there was a constant sound of a machine working. When, when, when Molde, Molde for okay. two, two, three years ago. It was like you switch on the machine and it worked. It was like it was, was, was really a rhythm in their play. And I have the feeling from what I see and um, Everybody would say I'm not an expert, and I accept that. But uh, they lost that rhythm. Um, all a little bit. I know what you mean. I mean, uh, and Akaran really got it. Mm. The Berlin girls you played with, they did have it too in their yeah, time. And then we lost it, and we're still yeah. looking and for the And most of the <laughs> most of their your players. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, Akaran uh, snatched away the ball from uh, Copenhagen, and is back again on the attack. And it's oh, um, that's uh, almost. Uh, that was a little bit safe. But look, you have two blue right left. She have ev can pass everywhere. She didn't. Now the next one is on the goalie. Uh, I wouldn't like to be that goalie right now. So um, these girls come from above, from right, from left, from the middle. It's a constant bombarding. Uh, and Akarin is even getting faster. Yep. I have the feeling they put up a notch, and. Um, Normally in the second half, if you lead for zero, you slow down. But what we see right here, there's like a feeding frenzy of sharks. They go in and go in and go in, and they want uh, to execute their attack and to score. Yeah. Oh, look, the more slow motion clips highlighting the goals would be great. That really would be a, a, a nice feature to have. Uh, maybe we can work on that for the next cup. Let's see. We have the goalie. Oh, she's attacking the head. Actually, she shouldn't be doing that. And the, mm, I think uh, the the referee is going. We didn't really see it. It's difficult to be referee to oh, see. It's, it's such nice passes now from uh, Akaram. It's even, and I don't mean it disrespectful, but it's even arrogant. They play now. They just dominate the area, the space around the Copenhagen basket, and they are just like, uh, "What do you want here? It's our space. We do here what we want, and just what it looks like." And the, then they execute it perfectly. Yes, it's I mean really nice Orcas to watch. and Langen are going to be in trouble. I mean, it's not going to be. Easy. It's not clear winner. The three of them are strong, but a Karen until what Holding, we've seen so far Holding. from Germany and from Orcas, um, Akaren Holding, is showing the most, the most consistency. Promising, yeah. But no, uh, no promising, but the most consistency in the attacking, so it's not going to be easy. Uh, what I see from uh, the Orca girls, I, th I, I, I think uh, compared to Langen, Langen is the biggest challenge for Akaren. Yes, yes, I would say so too. But let's see, you never know, and most teams grow with the opponent. We saw this uh, with Polisen yeah. against uh, Riksu, which was a surprising team, a uh, surprising game for me. Look, Langen won 2-0 against Copenhagen and Akaren has already four goals and is this, sorry, I don't know if it's the first or the second half. Second half. The second half, of course. Yeah, I know, it's, uh, you <laughs> oh just, sorry. time you lose it. Call from the referee. And there's a loose fin. Uh, Blue free throw. Pushing the goalie. 
Holding. pushing the goal and holding the goalie. without the no free throw. Without the ball, so it's a free throw for Akaren and the Danish were just about to breathe a little bit and now they're back at their goal, defending, there's one of the blue. You have the feeling there are eight of them on the water and then the next one against the goalie, the next on the other side, oh, that was a bit of a, a, a fail pass. But still she doesn't care for the defender, okay, the uh, Danish um, team recovered the ball, it's trying to pass, but it's very chaotic and there are a lot of stress. Um, and now we have one of the Danish having the 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 ball, but uh, she cannot uh, go away. I mean, she can't have anyone to pass to, and she couldn't go away. She lost it, and now they are a Karen is back on the attack, and she attacked gold. the head. Blue number six gold. And look a bit on the head. Blue um, number six gold. But, okay, uh, let's see, Lisbeth, Hawks, there. So, uh, 5-0, and when we've seen uh, the German team playing against the Danish team, Danish actually really um, managed to break uh, a bit of the game of the German uh, girls. So, but Why here, throw, holding. the it doesn't look that it really helped. Ruffling, I mean, the sorry, Danish um, wide free throw. The Danish tactic of defense it really, really, really didn't work out a lot against uh, Akar and Akar and Sir could do her game. I mean, the the game, and that's that's what is impressive wide for me. Wide free throw, roughing. Yep. Mm. Wide free throw. I agree. Free throw for. Uh, the Danish team, and this is what something we experienced as well in the European Championship in Helsinki this year. Don't forget, uh, Norway is the European champion and is second in the world after the Germans. Okay, the Germans are still world, world champions, two more years until the next uh, World Cup in Graz. But the Norwegian just got the European Championship, so uh, and Germany got second place. So let's see, it's going to be a fight of the giants there. Let there be giants and dragons, please, dragons. Free throw uh, for White against the Karen for Copenhagen. 5-0 for uh, Karen and we've barely been in the hut, they've barely been in the, in the half of, of their field. Um, now we are in attack towards the Danish uh, goal and uh, the Danish uh, team is starting or try to start a uh, counter attack but now the um, Norwegians are back at their goal, uh, they're pushing up uh, the, ball, the goalie and there's a fight there, there's chaos, we don't know where the ball is, the Danish got the ball, they're trying to leave but uh, their past ball, the next Akaren is right there, actually a squid, you know, Akaren is a squid in um, Norwegian and it really oh, suits them know. because they are really yeah. slippery and fast. <laughs> yeah, and, they, and they, they, have they have a lot of uh, arms. arms yeah, they, it legs. looks like they have many arms. Yes, so it's a good uh, name for them. And you see the it, it, the 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 effortless fun they put in the water while playing. It's it, it's this level when you play. It's just like they are you do what, the, what you were born to do. Yeah, they are complete. Completely not under stress at all. They are, you could say that even like calm, doing uh, their game, don't let themselves distract. I mean, they, they don't, if they lose the ball, they just get it back get it two back, seconds yes. later and continue, continue passing, passing. Look, the next player but is But don't, uh, I should, I think um, one should not mistake it and the game is over now. Mistake it, there's a lot of hard work behind oh. this effortless uh, presentation of underwater rugby. Yes. That's for sure. So it, uh, it's years of years of uh, hard work, experience, and um, the pool is three feet dedication. Feet. Three feet fifty. Th yeah. Three fifty. Mm -hmm. uh, dedication, passion, time for 
um, on the water rugby and it does not come from nothing.